Today I'm sharing with you some common RV mistakes. You may be asking yourself, well, how do you know they're mistakes? So I'm pretty sure we have made all of these mistakes and I'm sharing them with you so you don't have to learn the hard way like we did. Number one, if you're camping in a place with hookups, make sure you park close enough to those hookups for water, for sewer, and for electricity. And for water, you may also want to use a pressure regulator and a water filter. Water pressure can vary from campsite to campsite, so we use a pressure regulator so that we don't blow any gaskets. For electric, you may want to consider a surge protector. We just purchased a new one that actually connects with an app on our phone. So if we are away from the RV and there is a surge, the surge protector will notify us and we can be aware of that and take care of what we need to take care of to make sure that our food doesn't spoil or we don't have any other issues. When we're camping, we don't like to leave the sewer hose hooked up to the sewer dump portion of the campsite. We've had some really rank smells come up that hose. So we just hook up and dump the tank right before we leave. Don't use the same hose for water hookup that you use to rinse out the tubing. Recently we had to leave a campsite in a hurry and those hoses got put into the same container and so we didn't know which one was which. A. Store them separately and B. Make sure they're different colors so that you don't ever have that mix up. Next, make sure you have room to put your slides out. Pay attention to trees and other objects. We've had the experience of not paying attention and the damage was very expensive to fix. Next, once your level, chalk all your wheels. The reasons for this are obvious. Next, keep your gear and your supplies organized so that you're not overpacking. Consider making yourself a checklist so that you don't forget anything. Next, remember to pack like you will be encountering a 4.0 earthquake because that's exactly how your belongings will feel as you travel down the road. So make sure you don't leave anything sitting on a counter that's not secured. Make sure everything is secured on the inside of your RV as well as in your outside storage containers. In the comments let us know what mistakes you've learned not to make. As always thanks so much for watching, happy travels, and we'll see you next time.